This is T-Mobile's Web2Go homepage on the web browser. While this is a 3G device, uh, the antenna performance on the device is keeping us from getting a signal all the time. You can see we do have bookmarks and stuff here. We're going to go to the Mobile Burn web page, which I previously added. This is the mobile formatted version. Uh, the browser is not powerful enough to support normal websites like ours. Uh, the full mobile burn website just doesn't come up. You get um, banner ads only and it's, it's very strange how it reacts. Data speeds are kind of slow because of the poor reception. And there it goes. But in terms of browsing mobile pages it works pretty well. Here's the contact manager. I'll show you how the search works. You can search only on first name. So we can hit J here and it'll jump up to Jack. And if we add an O, we'll get to John. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it's a bit slow in reacting for some reason. Uh, there's very few contacts in, right, in this right now and it just really seems to hang a lot. So we're not sure what's going on here. We'll call John Doe here, hit the green button. And you can use the right soft key to turn on the speaker. You are attempting to use has been restricted or is unavailable. Turn the speaker back off and we'll end the call. You can bring up the call log most easily by hitting the call send button. It can also be accessed from the main menu though. We'll go into the main menu. Call log is right here. We'll show you some of the other functionality. You see of course we've got a calendar. There's Telnav's GPS navigation system. Also, uh, speaker independent voice recognition. Say a command. Call John Doe. John Doe, mobile one calling. It's pretty easy to place a call that way. Uh, the problem is that it doesn't seem to be accessible from any kind of shortcut key, like holding down the call send button or the OK button or anything like that. It appears you have to go through the main menu. Of course, if you're using a Bluetooth headset, you should be able to initiate it just from the headset. We're going to pull up the camera on the gravity tube by pressing down the shutter button for a second. Simple 2 megapixel fixed focus camera, but it does have a nice menu. Makes it very easy to configure. Take a picture just by pressing the shutter button. Automatically saves it. In this case, it's configured to save it to the micro SD card. You also have options for uploading it to your album. Just press the shutter button again to reactivate the camera. Hit the soft key up here to see your photos. Got the camcorder loaded right now, but you can see it's really low resolution. We'll take a quick video here just so you can see that it does in fact work, but it's not very impressive at all. We'll play this. jump back and then go into the menu so you can see the resolution is only 176 by 144. One of the aspects of the Gravity 2 that disappointed me was its media playing capabilities. There's no real music player per se, uh, no playlists, things like that. You're really just using a file manager going through moving from directory to directory and then choosing a random track to play. So, While well, the music sounds fine when it's playing, there's no way to do anything else. There's no background music play. When you go to the main standby screen or anything like that, it just music cuts out. You can see we just received a new instant message notification. This is for the AIM account that we've got logged in. We just hit the view button here, jump right into the application so you can see it. Here's a message for the video. So that's our look at the Samsung T469 Gravity 2 for T-Mobile. It is available now from T-Mobile's stores and T-Mobile's website for $29.99 after rebates and um, that kind of stuff. It requires a new two-year agreement and appropriate data contract. But, you know, the price is really nice. Uh, the feature set is not too bad as long as you're focused more on messaging rather than multimedia. And uh, it has a very nice keyboard, good looks, and a uh, solid build quality. So overall, we're pretty pleased with the device. Again, that's the T469 Gravity 2 by Samsung for T-Mobile USA, and I'm Michael Oral for MobileBurn.com.